Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, I'm looking at a new feature of the All-in-One WP Migration plugin. This is a new pro feature, and what it does is it allows you to reset all or part of your WordPress installation. The All-in-One WP Migration plugin is a very popular plugin. Here's the page on WordPress.org. You can see it's got more than 5 million active installs. And as the name implies, it's a plugin for backup and restore and migration. And the free version lets you backup and restore up to 512 megabytes. I use all in one WP migration a lot in my testing and in my development. And one of the nice features about the plugin, it replaces the domain URLs so they match the new location. So that's a big convenience. I have here a test website. Let's go to the dashboard and plugins. You can see that I've been testing editor's kit. I've been testing exact links. I've got a custom post type and things that I created with ACF. And I have the free version activated. I have one of the pro extensions installed, but it's not activated right now. Okay, because I wanted to show you, here is the menu area, the admin menu area for the plugin. And generally you have export, import, and backups, but they've added two new things, reset hub and schedule. This is the one I'm looking at in this video. When you go actually to do an export, let's just do that so I can show you what you have here. You have the options to select different items that you're going to exclude from the export. So that means you don't have to back everything up. For example, you might want to just back the database up. Then you have the options of where you're going to export to. And the only one that's free is file. So it's going to store the backup on your server and give you the option to download it. This is what I use when I'm testing and developing is I just store some of the preset sites and things like that as downloads. These other options, FTP, Dropbox, Google Drive, Amazon, Backblaze, OneDrive Box, Mega, DigitalOcean, Google Cloud, Azure, Amazon, PCloud, WebDAV and S3 client, you have to buy a premium extension in order to be able to do that. And this is the company that makes all-in-one WP migration and sells the extensions. Here you can see the pricing. These are annual prices. And then these are the different extensions per location. So you would get the extension that matches your storage location for your backups. Okay, now let's do a backup. It's made the backup and it gives me the option to download it. If I download it, then it'll save it to my local hard drive. And that's what I would usually do. But I'm just going to close this because I want to show you that what it did is it actually created the backup here also. You can restore this, or you can download it, or you can delete it. That's how easy it is to do an export. Now let's go to the plugins and let's activate a premium extension. You know, I have some pCloud storage. So when I use this for backing up to external storage, I would set it up for pCloud. And as if we look here, you know, here's where your pCloud settings are. This is your schedules. And then here's the reset hub. And that's what we're looking at here in this video. You have some options. You can purge all the plugins. Okay, so I'll remove all the installed plugins. You can delete all the themes and reset back to the default WordPress theme. You can clean up and remove everything from the media library. 
you can reset the database. And so this is an option when I've been testing and I want to keep my themes and plugins that I have installed, but I just want to clean out the database. So this is a good option for that. If you do that, though, you may need to re-enter your license keys because they're stored in the database. And then there's the full site reset where you reset everything back to its initial clean installation state. You know, just to kind of run through what I've got here in this site, you notice I've got a bunch of test posts. We want to get rid of that. We've got a bunch of images and the media library. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of these custom post types and these features like exact links and ACF and editor's kit uh, that were created as a result of different plugins. We have these plugins that we looked at and we have some extra themes installed. So let's go and try out the reset of the site and do the full site reset. If this works right, then we'll go back to a clean install. So fingers crossed, here we go. So it's asking me to re-enter my password, okay, to make sure. So I'm going to do that and click full site reset and there it goes. That was pretty fast. Here we've done the full reset. I'm just going to hit refresh here. Let's go to the plugins. It left all in one and it left uh, the pCloud extension. We do have our backup that we made ahead of time if we want to restore. So that's good to know that you still have that option or you can import some other backup that you've made. But let's see, we don't have any posts except for the hello world. It's cleaned out the media library. It's reset to the 2024 theme and removed the other themes. Okay, so there's our reset. We've gone back to a clean install. Many people already have a professional, you know, pro extension for all in one WP migration, in which case this video may introduce you to a new feature that has just become available. Otherwise, if you're thinking of getting all in one WP migration, this video shows you a new feature. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. There's a text summary of the video available on the WebTNG website, along with other resources and reviews. Thank you for watching.